they sent me the script and I read it. And I thought it was beautiful and and poetic and a really sort of sophisticated adult approach to uh, I suppose it's not just a love story but the idea of love and, and uh, I suppose it's a romantic thriller really maybe um, and that the idea the all-pervading idea that, that or the major theme of the film being that we're all connected was I just thought stunning uh, I then was asked to go and meet Vim I met Vim in London which was uh, quite a short meeting actually in which I did all the talking uh, and because he is I think quite famously a quiet man um, but he was really quiet and I thought I'm not going to get this gig here this is bad uh, so I made my excuses and I said listen man I've, I've got to go I've got something to take care of after about half an hour uh, which wasn't necessarily true and, um, and I said to him look if you want me to do the film I would I'll, I'll, I'd love to and if you don't want me to do the film no hard feelings at all and, and I left thinking I'm never getting that gig and then they called up I think a day or two later and said yeah Excellent, he can do the job, so it, it was a surprise to me. All the major players in this film, be it Alicia, be it me, be it the guys who capture me in Somalia, we're all weirdly so strongly connected to our, our, our beliefs that we're willing to die for them. Or if not willing to, or wanting to, we are prepared to. And, prepare, and we've all confronted that possibility that our job, the thing that we believe in, might make that happen. Um, so it was really important that he believed in his God and he believed in his country and he believed in his, in his mission, his purpose. Um, and then love comes along and sort of makes it harder to be that sort of selfless um, guy prepared to die, you know. I think it was a couple of weeks after I got the part, we got the same agent, and um, some agent called me up and said, listen, Alicia is really interested in this. And I was like, wow, that'd be brilliant. Um, she, she's a friend of a friend of mine, and they've always talked very, very highly of her, and also seen her work, so she's an incredible actress. So I was very excited. Uh, I was slightly worried that I was too old for her, but never mind. We'll get over that one. Erin has written an incredible script, but she's, she's got the mark of a very confident writer and a good writer where she can happily let you make shit up sometimes, <laughs> which is nice. Um, and Vim likes that. Don't get me wrong, they're, they're quick to say, uh, no, it's too much or, or it's going in the wrong direction, but more is more. Less is never more, um, I think. Um, so, yeah, just finding that sort of natural repartee uh, is something that I think a lot of actors can bring and and if it's getting in the way they don't have to they can edit it out of the movie you know but yeah there was definitely a comfort with our characters I felt very comfortable playing James I felt like he is very like me and Vim actually he's like a, a lot of me and a, and a good dose of Vim in there as well um, so I do feel very comfortable sort of making stuff up <laughs> as him. Um...